Every year, thousands of beekeepers across United States produce millions of pounds of honey. This bee farm started operating using one queen bee, which can lay up to 2,000 eggs a day. Eventually, it developed into more queens as media or bee houses were added. Bees from this farm also play an important role in the supply of fruit in United States. In spring, these bees will be taken to vegetable and fruit farms to help with pollination and produce more honey. In this video, Technologia will invite you to see the process of modern honey bee farming in United States. When spring comes and the flowers bloom, honey beekeepers will be busy enough to carry these boxes across town to town to help with pollination and get more honey in the spring. Honey beekeeping in United States has helped pollinate various crops, such as almonds, apples, cherries, and watermelons. All of this activity starts with a pile of empty boxes, which will be used as a home for honey bees, which are called beehive. In mid-July to late July, workers will graft their queen. Royal jelly is applied to a wax line cell cup. Then, the worker will take the queen bee embryo. After that, Work will place these cell cups to be returned to the hive, where the bees raise the baby queen. A few days later, they are ready to be taken and bred into the bee house box. Workers will take the queen cells, clamp them with wire, and insert them into the new nest. Placement in a frame like this can protect the new queen embryo until the queen bee is ready to challenge the old queen in a battle to the death. This natural selection ensures that beehives will only be inhabited by the strongest and healthiest. Furthermore, throughout the year the condition of the nest or beehive needs to be monitored. This is done to ensure that the queen bee and worker bees are in healthy condition. Outside of spring where there are no flowers available, bees cannot produce honey. Therefore they need to be fed with this liquid. Then the nest also needs to be checked. From April to June, these bee houses will move around according to the flowering season to be used in pollinating vegetables and fruit. These bee house boxes are transported at night when the bees sleep. Then, the next day, when they wake up, they will find a new field and play their part in a successful fruit season. However, during the winter months, these beehive houses will be moved to the apiary. When spring is over and summer comes at the end of June, the apiary starts to harvest or pull the honey and hives. This smoke-producing device, also known as a smoker, will force the bees to take cover at the bottom of the hive. This process is not harmful to bees and only natural materials are burned to produce smoke. Next, the boxes or bee houses containing honey are then placed on pallets, which are then loaded into trucks and transported to the honey house. In the honey house these boxes beehives which are be unpacked and stored in a hot room, which is kept at a constant temperature of 85 degrees Celsius, to reduce the viscosity of the honey. This makes honey easier to extract. 
Then at the production house, each cell will be removed from the box, and then placed on a moving conveyor. This conveyor will carry the cells and put them into the honeycomb opening machine. This machine uses sharp blades that rotate at high speed to remove the wax layer from these cells. Then workers will check each frame to ensure that each cap has been removed before finally these frames enter the extractor machine. This honey extractor machine can accommodate 28 frames. Then this honey extractor will rotate for less than 12 minutes. With this rotation, the honey is spun from the comb to the outside of the extractor and pumped to the separator. Next, it goes into the separator machine. The honey is spun once again to remove wax particles that are still in the honey. When the separator rotates at high speed, the honey, which is heavier than the wax moves to the outer wall through centrifugal force. After thorough cleaning, these empty nest boxes are stored for the winter. The extracted honey is stored in 2,500 storage tanks and can produce up to 27,000 kilograms of fresh honey. The honey is then poured into a stainless steel tanker truck by means of a pump. Then this honey will be transported to the honey packaging factory. After arriving at the packaging factory, this honey will be pumped or poured into sophisticated packaging machines. Honey will go through various processes to produce the final result of 100% pure honey. The honey containers will be filled and inspected, and then the honey will be packed in boxes for shipment to wholesale stores around the world.